widower gets engaged after two years, the next day gets a strange call. David smiles to himself and his heart gushes with emotion as he watches his family, amidst the bright lights and festive ornaments, decorate their towering Christmas tree. He takes a look at his late wife's picture on the table beside him and feels a lump in his throat. He sure did miss her. Then suddenly David's phone rings. The number was a number David didn't recognize, so armed with curiosity he answers it. He had no idea that this call was going to change his life forever. David Schmitz had a perfect life he had a kind and gorgeous wife called Brenda, and four young children that made him beam with pride every time he looked at them. But little did this doting father and loyal husband know, that his world was about to be torn in two, and nothing would be the same again. As soon as David laid his eyes on Brenda 25 years ago, he knew she was the one. After a couple of dates, the two made it official, and the childhood sweethearts eventually married and welcomed not one, but four boys into their family. David thought he would spend the rest of his life with Brenda. She was his soulmate. But he was so wrong. It was a cold morning in winter when David's wife Brenda had a checkup at their local hospital. David dropped Brenda off and waved her goodbye as she went into the doctor's room. Brenda thought it was just going to be an ordinary routine checkup, but she had no idea what the doctors were about to find. Unfortunately for Brenda, the doctors told her that she had ovarian cancer, and ultimately it was terminal. As expected, Brenda was devastated to hear this. She so badly wanted it to be a nightmare she was about to wake up from, but this was no nightmare, this was her reality, and she didn't have much time left. Brenda knew that she wasn't going to waste her few months remaining by being down and sad, she was determined to make it fun and meaningful. But that didn't stop the little voice in the back of her mind from constantly worrying about what was going to happen when she passed. How would her husband cope? Brenda wanted to make sure David found somebody special after she passed. She even told him to go out looking for love, for someone to spend the rest of his life with. Sat by her hospital bedside, David asked his dying wife just how he will know when he's found the one. Brenda turned to him and smiled, you'll know because I'll be there. And then as peaceful as a summer night, Brenda took her last breath and passed away. He thought things could get worse, but he was so wrong. After his wife's death, David was heartbroken, but he made sure to focus his attention on his four children. He had to keep it together for their sake. And as time went on, the grief started to fade away and David started to look forward to his future again. But an encounter with someone in a supermarket was about to change his life forever. A year after his wife's passing David met Jane Smith mom of two in a local supermarket. The two started dating and straight away she fit right into David's family, she even took on his children like they were her own. But there was another sign that David's relationship with Jane was meant to be. And it was a sign from above. You see, Brenda and her son Max's favorite song was Over the Rainbow. The two sang it all the time in the car and at home. But when Brenda passed away, the town hadn't had any rain for five days. Then suddenly, a double rainbow appeared stretching out across the blue sky. David was amazed at the double rainbow he saw, but it didn't make sense. Even a local the meteorologist said the rainbow must be an anomaly because they hadn't had any rain. Hearing this, David felt a lump in his throat. He knew it was Brenda. Moreover, when David told his new girlfriend Jane about the rainbow, straight away he could see confusion and shock on her face. With her hands shaking, she got out her phone and showed David a picture. It was a picture of a double rainbow. The same double rainbow David saw. Hearing this David knew that he and Jane were meant to be. It was a sign. A sign from Brenda. So the following September, David proposed to Jane and she said yes. David was over the moon and excited for a fresh start, but he had no idea he was about to receive a call that was going to shatter his world in two. Christmas was soon approaching and David's household was kicked out with festive decorations. He watched his new family laugh together while they decorated the tree. Suddenly David's phone rang. He didn't recognize the number, so armed with curiosity he answered the call. He had no idea what this call had in store for him. The call was from was a local radio station and the presenter told David that somebody had sent him a Christmas wish. The only problem? 
The identity of the wish giver was kept a secret. David raced over to the radio station adamant to know who the wish was from. He begged the presenter to reveal who the person was that sent him a Christmas wish. The presenter revealed the truth, and the message was in fact from David's late wife, Brenda. David was frozen in his tracks. He couldn't believe it. His mouth dropped wide open as tears started to fill up in his eyes. How was this possible? Well, a month before Brenda passed away she wrote her requests in a letter and asked a friend to keep the letter until David had found a new love. And when he did, Brenda wanted the letter to be sent to their local radio station. And inside the letter was three wishes. First, Brenda wanted a holiday that all her family would enjoy. Her second wish was a party to be held for all the doctors and nurses that cared for her. And last but not least, Brenda's third wish was to pamper and treat Jane, she would most definitely need it for becoming a stepmom to her four boys. As David listened to his late wife's words he felt tears stream down his flustered face. Hearing his late wife's wishes, David felt overcome with emotion. He knew that she was happy for him, and David felt relieved to hear this. He knew that Brenda approved of Jane and approved of their relationship. And that was all that David needed. Although she wasn't here anymore, Brenda would always be right next to David. No matter what.